Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to Desert Willow Middle School where we have put together an art show to celebrate Native, Amer Native American Heritage Month. And we are just going to share with you a few of the pieces that our students worked on. We are the Mob Severe program at Desert Willow Fine Arts uh, Magnet Academy. So we have our headdresses and then we have a Native American inspired bird drawn by our class. And the way that we achieve this is that we um, utilize a video from a artist called Art for Kids Hub and we pause the video which allows us to draw line for line. This next display is from Mr. Thomas Haddad's class and his students have created the Dreamcatcher. Mr. Haddad is a very seasoned teacher of students with severe learning differences and this is their contribution in beautiful sun catchers. Next we had an interactive board called Who Am I? and it would give a description of the information. For instance, this one says that I was the first and only female chief of the Seminole tribe of Florida. I was a nurse and co-founder co-founded the first Seminole newspaper. I am Betty Mae Tiger Jumper and it lists her tribe. Okay, and so there are several of those to take a look at and learn from. And then uh, Mrs. Cuthbert's class, that'd be my class, um, we partnered with the library and had the librarian to provide us with some Native American books. And my students had a home project to work on with their families. They were to choose a Native American dwelling to create a replica of some of the homes that some tribes lived in. Then we had Mr. Rosenau's class came through and they left us affirmation notes saying what they liked about the creations that the students made. So that is very encouraging. Our class will be reading those later on today. But the work that these families did is just phenomenal. Here we have some many replicas of totem poles that were created in Ms. Cuthbert's classroom. And they had a few affirmation notes here as well. And Mr. Haddad's class also provided some musical instruments that are very awesome. Some small headdresses. And again, this is the severe classroom that provided us with samples of their work. Now, of course, this all took place inside of our learning garden, which was created right before the pandemic. Uh, Dr. Zazani's was our AP at the time, and she partnered with us to get district backing for this. We have a very strong totem pole pres presence here. This is offered by Ms. Pena's class. And then they have these letters of affirmation that are so cool. I love the way that this blows in the wind. And Ms. Pena's class also provided stone rocks. And so these stone rocks were apparently used as a form of communication. So we could arrange them and make a sentence with pictures. And again, we have many of the books that are available in our library. There is a large collection of books available in our library. Throughout the presentation, students could come here and learn about Native American homes. A teepee Got a bit of a glare here. Poles for the frame or structure. The poles were tied together in a bundle. Thanks to Mr. Wright for each of the legs getting all of our audio together. Out, a large circle and the then box. we had the poles were then wrapped a technology the access point here where kids could use their phones and do the QR up. code. Making it the perfect house for people who moved a lot. They seem to like that. We're a technology-based school. We're particularly uh, proud to have Ms. Marlene Bonelli 
photographed here. She is one of our seasoned care educators, and she is actually Native American, and she is a part of the Tatavian tribe. Okay. And then we have some art here from our classrooms. Mr. Stuvenel's classroom provided us with some beautiful artwork of the Phoenix. A log house was a permanent home. Unlike the teepee, it was not moved from place to place. It was built from wood and bark in the shape of a rectangle. And my care educator, Ms. Beltran, recommended that we do our celebration in the garden. I thought that was a lovely idea. These houses were also covered with bark. Long houses were about because truly Native Americans believed in enjoying everything that involved the earth and respecting the earth. And in our garden, it's a learning garden, but we also are uh, learning about how to care for the earth. Okay, so a moment ago you saw the chicky dwelling done very well. This is a longhouse dwelling. One of our students was so excited that he decided to do two projects, and this is his second project. I love the creativity that the families used. We like to do pro we like to do uh, projects twice a year that involve the families. So the Native American dwellings are creations of the families and their students working together. These are from Miss Inyan's class. Very beautiful headdress drawings. They are gorgeous. I love them. And they also uh, provided a take one for students who would like to color their own picture. And I did see many of the Gen Ed students take one of their own pictures as they came through. And of course, here is our learning garden. There's our bird bath, our kindness rock gardens, our butterfly bushes. Here are some more totem poles done by Miss Kenya's class. On the other side. It would just be lovely if our garden always was covered in the artwork of our students. Many tribes hunted buffalo or caribou for food as well as deer and rabbits. All right. Now, one last thing that we have, last but not least, as we head back to our classroom. Spears, nets, and fish traps were made. More of the totem poles. This one had a really cute note on it. It says, I love the tongue on the giraffe. It made my day. <laughs> okay, let's go around. I think we saw this already. Very nice. Very nice. And our, we believe, it's 12 foot totem pole that we created. We recycled a tube that a rug came in for our school. We held it for two years not knowing what we were going to do with it. And then this happened. <laughs> and we have it at about 12 feet tall and it fits perfectly on the post of this gate. And it stands as a great symbol of Native American heritage. My students uh, in Ms. Cupper's class created this totem pole. When the learning garden was created, the students told us what they wanted this garden to represent. And they wanted our garden to be a multicultural garden. So we will continue to add elements that are multicultural as we pass by and see our apple and cherry trees. Thank you so very much for joining us in this brief yet well-deserved celebration of Native American Heritage Month.